So start with. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Um, frankly, I cannot see how the Commission can present us a report on trade between the European Union and the Andean countries, Peru and Colombia, without bringing into the centre of the picture the whole question of, uh, of uh, human rights. It's, it's, it's quite incredible. And uh, it is no coincidence whatsoever that the two countries that are prepared to do this deal with the European Union are Peru and Colombia, countries which are pursuing quite vicious neoliberal and right-wing economic policies uh, at the cost to their own people. And that is why they are prepared to deal with the European Union and with the major corporations who will go from Europe if, uh, if they get the opportunity, uh, frankly, to exploit the resources of those countries and the people. Now, can I remind the Commission that in Peru, to start there, there are major problems, for example, with the willingness of the Peruvian government to open up large tracts of the Amazon to exploration and exploitation by oil and gas uh, uh, majors, a process that has been massively resisted by the indigenous uh, people, particularly over the last 18 months, where many have been killed opposing uh, this proposal to exploit uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Amazon at huge cost to those peoples and to the environment. I would, would like to know what the Commission is saying to the government of Peru about these issues. And secondly, Chairman, in re regard to environmental services, which the spokesman just passed over very quickly. Can I ask him what, is, what does he mean by the discussions on environmental services? Does he mean the question of water, for example? And is it a, a proposal that uh, European corporations will be able to go in and participate in a privatization process of the uh, natural resource of water which, as you know, was an absolute disaster 10 years ago in Bolivia. What exactly is happening there? And lastly, Chairman, in Colombia, Colombia is a killing field for trade unionists, for human rights defenders, or for anybody that stands up for the rights of people, economic and human rights. And it's quite incredible in a situation where last year 49 trade unionists were murdered, Dozens were murdered this year, and 500 have been murdered since President Uribe came to power. It's quite incredible that the Commission can come in, talk about uh, uh, lucre, trade, and profit for corporations, and not talk about the human cost. So I would like some answers to, 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 to these questions.